In a huge controversy that has broken out in the last few days, we've seen a number of social media posts in the last few weeks despite this pandemic, which have been very hateful and communal in nature, many of them by right-wing trolls. That has now been brought to the attention of prominent people in the Middle East, uh, particularly countries that are friendly with India, including the UAE. As this backlash has grown over these Islamophobic tweets, even the Organization of Islamic Conference or the OIC, which is the biggest grouping of Islamic countries, strongly criticized India for this yesterday. And today, India's ambassador to the UAE, Pavan Kapoor, said that India and the UAE share the value of non-discrimination and that discrimination is against our moral fabric and the rule of law. Indian nationals in the UAE, he said, should always remember that. Well, among the most prominent voices to criticize these Islamophobic tweets was Princess Hend Al Qasimi, who is a member of the royal family and joins us uh, via satellite, via, via Skype from, uh, from uh, Dubai. Uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening, ma'am. Uh, you know, we're kind of unfortunately used to seeing this kind of hatred and uh, sort of communal uh, overtones to tweets in India. What caught your attention this time? What did you see that made you so angry? I didn't like what I saw. I grew up with him, workers at home. I was raised by Jews, and, and this was not what I'm used to hearing from Indians. And uh, I didn't like that. One of basically had many rude comments. He was making fun of my religion. He was calling us the religion of the donkey, which was 1,400 years old. And he also said something about the country being built by Indians, and without the Indians, we would fall into ruin. We do not deny that we work, uh, I mean, the Indians are our colleagues and our co-workers, they are friends, our families. They're not just the labor class. We have many CEOs which are also Indians and we're very proud of them. We don't deny the, we don't deny this friendship. Uh, one of the top five countries we trade in import and export and, oil and infrastructure and everything is India. I don't see India as a competition. I see India as a family. I mean, from the ancient Sanskrit dictum, you have a, you have a word which says, we are all one family. And India, I mean, when I used to come to India, India, like, like very few countries, makes you feel like you belong to it. So I was ashamed to see an Indian saying that. Absolutely, and so are we. I have uh, been to India, and I've met uh, so They will we. say and, good things and, about and India and that, the corruption. I would say, but look at India today. I, I can tell you that you know, I I would say that most Indians still very much believe uh, in in our secular democracy, and and they're not full of the kind of hatred that you see on Twitter and that you see online. And I'm sorry that you know you had to see those comments and, and read those comments. Uh, if there's one message you wanted to give today to those people who have. Uh, made this a religious issue and one of religious bias, what would that message be? Um, we are all one family. Today I quoted something about Gandhi, where, which says, I am the Christian, I am the Jew, I am the Muslim, I am the Buddhist, I am the Hindu. We are all one family. And uh, I also mentioned that the Emirates is not a country, uh, does not accept hate. And that man that was quoting things, that was tweeting with, with a lot of arrogance, he does not represent the India I know. I don't think India would be proud to say that this is an ambassador of India. No, uh, it would not. And I, I, and I think the person uh, that tweeted you is, is somebody who doesn't represent all of us either. So uh, we, we're glad you called out the bigotry. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on NDTV this evening and speaking your mind you. uh, on, on this issue. Thanks very much.